Welcome to the AACS Daily News for May 3rd, 2016. Police chiefs in Bristol County have recently come together to form the Bristol County Chief of Police Association, an organization formed to ensure agencies are utilizing best practices in their respective communities. Attleboro Police Chief Kyle Hegney was elected as Vice President and we spoke with him to learn more about it. Recently, the Bristol County Chiefs Organization or Association, if you will, uh, established itself to uh, provide a voice for law enforcement in the county. Uh, there was no organized Chiefs Association prior to this. Other counties in Massachusetts do have associations and we thought it would be uh, a benefit if the uh, Chiefs organized to have a unified, solid voice for contemporary police issues and other uh, advocacy issues that are current in our mission throughout the county. The opiate addiction is affecting every city and town in our county. Um, this heroin epidemic is borderless and it affects every city in the county from uh, the north to the south. So that is one major issue we're going to attack, if you will, and, uh, and bring up in, in constant discussion and also planning on how we're going to address this collectively. Uh, the, the other issue are uh, budgets for police departments. Um, Currently, we have a, a major issue now within the city regarding the, uh, the school department and their budgetary issues uh, that's actually affecting the rest of the city. Um, I'm sure most cities and towns in Massachusetts are experiencing a similar thing because of the uh, governor's budget cutting local aid, uh, Chapter 70 money. The issues of uh, domestic violence, uh, drunk driving, drug driving now has become uh, more increased in notice because of the attitude or social acceptance, if you will, of, of marijuana, that uh, we don't have effective means of reducing or, re or attacking the uh, drug driving, so that's a major issue also in uh, education and also the uh, proliferation of the sentiment towards police uh, authority is, I guess for lack of a better word, disgusting these days where you're seeing numerous attacks upon police officers, physically I mean, without any uh, conscious thought of, uh, of uh, ramifications or accountability by those attackers is it nationally. Uh, we see it on every day, uh, police officers being shot, killed, attacked. Within Attleboro, we, we certainly don't have the funds to purchase all the uh, body cameras and I'm, and I'm sure the police officers would uh, accept them if we purchased them in, um, and uh, roll them out for use, but uh, that becomes a public record, which I don't think people are really truly thinking all the way through because they look at it as, oh, we're, we're going to stop police abuse or we're going to keep an eye on the police, but every person that the police interact becomes a public record now. So um, if, if we had uh, the body cameras, anything we capture in those body cameras, now anybody could request for public use, to, public, to view what we're doing on calls of service and that involves some deep privacy issues in, in persons' homes, um, and not to mention on uh, motor vehicle stops and other critical uh, traumatic incidents that we respond to. Well, I, I appreciate uh, my fellow chiefs uh, uh, having the, uh, the respect and the personal uh, confidence that uh, I can serve in this capacity, in this position, uh, and speak on their behalf. And, I'm, I'm honored and uh, very humbled. Uh, I, I think Chief Racine, who was voted the president, uh, is going to do uh, amazing things for us and uh, move forward in a proactive manner, policing in Bristol County. Um, that now that we have a uh, active, progressive voice, I, I, I think you're going to see a lot of good things happen in Bristol County. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.